every day. Talk about Pokemon Sun and Moon until it finally comes out. And guess what? We're only, what, three days away now? Yeah, three, guys. So it's very, very exciting. Um, okay, I know you're probably going to be, like, looking at me. Nico, what's wrong with your outfit? Why are you wearing a shirt that has numbers on it? Like, if you were, uh, um, a sports player. Well, it's comfy and it matches my pajama pants. Anyways... <laughs> What an intro. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I'm desperate. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not that desperate, but, you know, if you do hit the subscribe button. Well, okay, so today I'm talking about my thoughts about Pokemon Sun and Moon before the release. I thought of an idea. I think of lots of ideas. What can I do that's fun before, during, and after the release? And I thought, what about talking about my preconceived notions about Pokemon Sun and Moon before, and then talking about how I feel about the game during the game while I'm playing it, and then talk about how I feel about it a month after, and then a year after. So this will probably be four videos, be a little playlist they can, you know, file your nails to while you're watching this four-part series. But I am going to talk about my Pokemon Sun and Moon thoughts before the game, during the game, a little bit after, and a while after. And this is before. So, this is all off script. I've only been on script actually once in my whole entire YouTube career. Um, unless you can, <laughs> unless you consider my YouTube singing videos. But, I am really, really excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon. I have so much positivity. And, you know, I, this happens for most things with me. Whether it be music, video games a test. Uh, I always have really high expectations for things, uh, and I really, really have high expectations for Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I have ever since uh, Gen 6 came out, and the reason why I have such high expectations for Sun and Moon is this. X and Y is very, very, very similar to uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. It's very... Uh, it felt like a revamp of sorts, and it was a revamp that I think the Pokemon series really, really needed. And uh, I think it's a very, very needed game. We got the whole Wi-Fi overhaul. Uh, the whole series as a whole felt reintroduced to the world. Not that it changed that much, but now that it's 3D, it went from 2D to 3D. That's a huge shift. Uh, all the Wi-Fi capabilities, trading and battling... Um, all of the new Pokemon, the Mega Evolutions, character customization, I can go on and on and on and on of what X and Y brought to the table. But I felt like Gen 1, uh, it was almost focused too much, not focused too much because it needed to happen, but it was really focused on these new details. So, I think I, ever since Gen 6 came out, I thought Gen 7 would be the game that Pokemon wanted to create. A game focused on plot and gameplay, not uh, new features. Now that all the new features are here, they're not going to have to uh, focus on them. They can focus on the game itself. Does that make any sense? Gen 1 was just like that. So many new things, a whole brand new game, uh, couldn't focus on the plot as much. Gen 2 comes around, the gameplay is fantastic. I think Gen 2 and Gen, uh, I think Gen 2 is one of the most widely received. Like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver is like the prime Pokemon game, if that makes sense. It's such a good plot, gameplay, Pokemon, so many good things about Gen 2. Because Gen 1, without focusing on new features in the new game. Gen 7, I feel, is the same thing. All of the new stuff from Gen 6 is there, but they didn't have to make it. It's there as a template, and now they can focus on gameplay and plot. So ever since Gen 6 came out, I've been thinking that Gen 7 is going to be what we've been wanting for many, many years. And I think that's what we're going to get based off reviews, based off gameplay, based off Pokemon I've seen. Pokemon, there are only like 2 or 3 that I don't like. There's usually 10, 15, 20. I only usually like 50% of the generation. I like, like, 90% of the Pokemon in this generation. I like uh, the region a lot. Like, um, Johto. I really like Johto and all the characters in it. I feel like I'm going to really like the characters in here. Johto had a nice plot. I think this is going to have a really nice plot. They're changing up a lot, though. Um, I did think this was going to be a standard Pokemon game. Everything you've wanted. Perfected. But they are adding a lot of new things that I'm welcome to. Not game-changing things, but welcome changes that won't distract from the game itself. Um, 
primarily that being new graphics again. Uh, so I guess I might have been wrong in that account because I thought this game was going to have the same graphics as X and Y, but a bit improved. Um, but it's not. It has a lot better graphics, and I'm excited for those graphical changes. Um, but I'm also excited for the trials. Um, I'm one of those people who are very optimistic when it comes to changes in the series, including Pokemon. Uh, so I'm very optimistic when it comes to the new trials replacing gyms. Gyms have been around for 20 years now. I think it's okay for them to try something new. And based on what we've seen, they seem like a welcome, nice change. And I'm really hoping that they are, and I think they will be. Um, I think that, uh, what else? We talked about graphics, not much, but the way the game feels like a real world now is really, really nice. I don't know what it feels like legitimately, um, because we got a taste of it in the demo, but I just feel like we're going to have, like, a world like no before in this game. Uh, we're really going to uh, experience a Pokemon world as if, like, we were in it, and the fact that there's character customization customization back and that we're, our characters are in the battle as we battle that adds a whole another level of personification and really inserts you into the game more um i again all of the uh new things from pokemon sun and uh, pokemon x and y is in pokemon sun and moon uh so we're not gonna miss out on much uh but we're gonna get new things so i just feel like in general this game is x and y but with better graphics, a good, good plot, and welcome new changes that are revamping the series in a humongously amazing new set of Pokemon. So I'm going to roll with calling it, I don't want to talk too much because I feel like I haven't played the game, so it's hard for me to say, but just for my preconceived notions, what I think before the game is I have massive hopes. I had massive hopes a year ago, two years ago. I have massive hopes now because I know the generation is going to be great because Alola is great, the new Pokemon are great, the new features are great, the new graphics are great, the new characters are great, I'm sure the new plot is great, the new trials are great. I just feel like there's so many good things going into this and I can't wait for Wi-Fi battles and I really have to get that out of my head. I can't rush my playtime of the game because it's going to take away from the experience um usually i hate to admit it i rush through the fir my first playthrough because i'm just so excited to keep going 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 and now that i'm really into wi-fi battles that's only going to make that worse because i'm going to be excited to wi-fi battle people but i advise for other people watching and myself to think that we have like two three years of pokemon sun and moon meta game online we had three years for x and y like three years for black and white we have a good three years to play wi-fi battles so don't let your first experience of the game get rushed because of that excitement to wi-fi battle um but in general everything gets taken out the window when pokemon game comes out nothing else matters but the game all my hours go to it. You can check X and Y and Oros when they release on my Pokemon and on my uh, DS. Literally like 13 hours a day. Every waking hour of my life was on Pokemon Sun or Pokemon X and Y and Oros. So more so X and Y because I played Ruby and Sapphire so many times. So it wasn't like a new experience. But when it's a new experience, you just can't let the game down. You just have to keep going and going and going and I think that's what's so cool about Sun and Moon is that this new experience is such a new experience this region is like no other I mean it's similar to Hoenn but it's like no other because four different it feels like four different regions in one the characters are like no other the Pokemon are like no other the graphics are like no other the gameplay itself is like no other because of Ultra Beast Tapu Koko's the trials it's just going to be a really unique experience. And I feel like it's... I'm not bashing X and Y. But I'm just saying... What the game... What Game Freak had in mind... For their 3D Pokemon games... Is what they're going to get with Sun and Moon. And what we're going to get from Sun and Moon. X and Y was them adapting to 3D. It was them adapting to this new world of... 
Wi-Fi and adapting to all these new features, character customization. It was so many good new features all in one game that it took away from the plot in the Pokemon because it was just such a big change. And I think going to Sun and Moon, we're going to enjoy the game for itself with those changes rather than being distracted by the changes. So I think the game's going to be great. The changes that are changing in this game itself will be great. And I'm going to go with, it's going to be, I don't want to say it's going to be like the best Pokemon game ever and then me having to backtrack in two, three weeks when I make the new, next video. But, kind of looks like I have a hat. Well, it was a hat originally, but. I want to say that this is going to be my favorite Pokemon game because I love the region. I'm loving the Pokemon, the characters, the new way of playing the game. I love my 3DS. And I just feel like it's going to be my favorite Pokemon game ever. And I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right. But I'm going to go with it's going to be one of my favorite Pokemon games ever. Um, just to not completely have expectations going all the way up to the top of my hat. Um, thank you for watching. Comment down below your preconceived notions, your thoughts towards Pokemon Sun and Moon before playing the game. And then meet me back here in two, three weeks when I talk about my thoughts about Pokemon Sun. My forehead looks really, really big because the hair's getting pushed up by this hat and it's like, like half my face is on my forehead. <laughs> but with that said, foreheads are really weird. No, that, that wasn't the point. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> I've watched so many videos of how to uh, interact with your subscribers. So um, you guys like, um, like we interact with each other more and that uh, more people come because they see like we're having fun interactions. Cause I'm one of those people who are like, I don't even do YouTube for the, I do YouTube for the videos, but I do YouTube mostly to make like a community of people who are like me. Not only like me, but have like interests to talk, to discuss common interests of mine. Um, make a community where um, we can all talk about Pokemon, video games, and uh, really have different opinions, but respect each other's opinions. And really just have a place where I can make my art. And people will watch it and critique it. I don't care if you like it or dislike it, as long as you watch and tell me what you thought. And making it a community uh, is really what I want it to be. Because I'm one of those people, you guys, you guys will be named one day, okay? You guys are going to get a channel, or the little Nico stirs or something. Um, but it's just really exciting to think about um, Pokemon Sun and Moon and how I think, I think, that, that was weird. Uh, all of us are going to bond together and we're going to make a community. And I've been watching those videos, um, what, I forgot his name, it's like, Derry Evans or something like that. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. And just watching how he says we can make a community together by um, just like simple things like adding tags here and there. And I like doing that, but more than anything, I want you guys to voice your opinions while watching. 14 minutes, what the heck, I just wasted your time. Uh, that was a lot of mumbo jumbo for nothing. But what I will try to say is, I want you guys to voice your comments down below, or else it won't really mean anything, because I'm just talking to myself. So I want you guys to tell me what you think about Pokemon Sun and Moon before the game comes out, and then meet me back in two or three weeks when we're all playing the game, and we'll talk about our thoughts while playing the game. And then when we're done playing the game, we'll give our overall review and thoughts about the game as a whole. Uh, and we're going to just talk as one big... One big happy family, uh, one big happy Pokemon Sun and Moon family, and, um, just see what, like, how our experiences were, and how, uh, our teams were, and how we thought about the game, so, with all that said, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time, goodbye, if it goes past 15 minutes, I can't upload it, so, ah!